And the Nigerian police has arrested a seven-man criminal gang responsible for several bank robberies in the southwest states of Ondo and Ikiti between 2019 and 2020. The suspects who were responsible for the killing of about six policemen were paraded at the Special Anti-Robbery Squad headquarters in Abuja. Our correspondent, Uyi Yamadi, reports. 42-year-old Tubo Sojo is the leader of a notorious armed gang responsible for several armed robberies in Ileoluji, Idonre, and Oye Ikiti towns in Ondo and Ikiti states. Tubosu Ojo and his gang had terrorized the two states, but recently met their Waterloo as a crack team of police detectives traced their whereabouts and effected their arrest. The gang confessed to being responsible for the robberies involving two commercial banks and a microfinance bank in Undo and Ikiti states within the last one year. At uh, when the robbery is taken up, I lead them to inside the room and pack the money, buy others and in outside. At Ileoluji, uh, I also lead them inside to pack the money. Four policemen were killed. At Oyeki, uh, two policemen were killed. When I started to blame, then one out, one out of them fire my leg. We thank God for God that the uh, policeman got, uh, got, got us arrested because it's the will of God for policeman for, for policeman to arrest us. It's the one operation that I followed them to for here and I took session on the bike. So two of us were on the bike moving around. Before we got there, the operation had been started and we announced things. Before the operation was finished, after they left, then we said, "Now we are now back to Akure." The second day, the money was sent to me by Shola. I was collected two hundred thousand men. An ecstatic force public relations officer, Frank Umba, revealed that several policemen were killed by the syndicates during their reign of terror. Six policemen were killed as a result of those robberies. Four were killed during the robbery at Iloluji, while two were killed during the robbery at Oye in Ekiti State. A branch of Wema Bank, a branch of UBA, as well as a microfinance bank were attacked in those three operations. Mr. Amba also regretted that members of the communities where these crimes were perpetrated were complicit in the crimes. He says the robbers would have been impossible without the connivance of locals. In the three operations, it, it is always a son of the soul, somebody from that community that will identify the target identify the strength and weaknesses of the location. With the arrest of Tuboso and his notorious gang of robbers, it is clear that crime does not pay. The Nigerian police force urged the public to shun crime, saying the police will not relent in ensuring criminals are apprehended and they face the long arm of the law. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa.